Hi there, I'm Josh Vickers. Have you ever wanted to be a cartoon like I am? Well, it's really simple with Blender 3D and this tutorial, which I'm about to show you. Check this section out. We start off in our 3D view in Blender. Now, first of all, we need our model to be shaded, and it's me shaking my head back and forth. We're going to do a render just to show you what it would look like just with the default settings for diffuse and specular shaders. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Materials tab and change the Cook Tour and Lambert shaders to the Tune setting. If we do a render just like this, you'll notice that my head and my hands are still a little shiny. Someone needs to powder their nose. To fix this, and as you should do with most of your Tune renderings, turn the value of specularity almost all the way down. Now it looks a lot better. And just like a TV cooking show, we're going to take you to something we've already prepared. Easy as pie. Now my entire body is tune shaded. Here's something important. In order to give our tunes an outline, we need to make sure that the edges button is turned on, which is found in the scene tab under output. The EINT value makes the edges seem bigger or smaller, but 10 is the default and it's just fine. Another thing you need to worry about is lighting. In order for the outlines to show up well, they need to have high contrast. This can be achieved by using more than one light placed at the sides of the camera and behind. We want the outlines to be in stark contrast to the model so you can see them better, as this helps the tune effect. Something to note is that when you work with these lights, it's a good idea to have one global light source placed up in the sky where it can cast shadows and add specularity to your models. The other lights you have should probably be turned down and make sure that they don't cast any specularity. Tune shading is a fun way to add uniqueness and character to all your models. Happy animations!